Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when William Samiruto's victory was confirmed by the seven judge bench at the Supreme Court, led by Mother Kome, William Ruto later called for a, a press briefing at the official residence of the Deputy President in Karen. So journalists quickly gathered there for that presser. And after William Samaruto giving his speech as president-elect, it was now the turn for the journalists to ask questions. It's like everyone had asked questions and Ruto had responded to some of these questions. But suspiciously, citizen TV journalists had not asked any question. So Ruto, in his own wisdom or lack of it, he decided to call out citizen TV. And he asked, where the Citizen TV? <laughs> so one of the journalists from Citizen TV came out. She came forward and she asked a question. Her question was directed eh, on the issue of corruption. And she asked William Ruto, as president-elect, immediately when you are sworn in, how are you prepared to fight corruption in this country? Because of course that's the biggest problem we are having in this country. The only cancer in Kenya economy is corruption. And it looked like it was strategic. Before even the citizen journalists could finish to ask a question, already the people who were with William Samueluto in that stage started booing at the citizen TV journalist. <laughs> And uh, it is just so fun. I wanted to watch this video shortly. And one last one. Where are my good friends from Citizen? <laughs> <laughs> Citizen. <laughs> no, no, it was. <laughs> uh, Citizen. Gotcha. Where are they? How are no, they? No, it's okay. <laughs> yes. Um, congratulations on your win, uh, Mr. President. My name is Brenda Wanga from Citizen TV. <laughs> um, I know you have said you will give a comprehensive statement a little yeah. bit later on on what you intend to do in your first 100 days. You've said that in your manifesto before, but I know uh, most of us are quite concerned and would like to know what your plans are in regards to fighting graft. That has been quite a big uh, issue during this, uh, this campaign. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I think it's a, it's a fair question. Now, what we want to analyze on this panel today, or the question we are asking here today, is that is William Samaruto, as president-elect, putting Citizen TV on notice and other TV stations, be it radio or even social media users or bloggers? That is exactly what we want to analyze. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who will comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, what I have witnessed from what the journalist went through at current residence in the hands of William Samuel Ruto as president-elect is something I have never seen and I have never thought that it can come to pass. I have never seen at any point politicians trying to shut down a journalist who is trying to ask questions. I have never seen a politician booing at a journalist when the journalist is trying to ask questions which 
might need others to Kenyans. But today, this is happening on broad daylight, in front of cameras, without anyone blinking an eye. They decided to embarrass the journalist. Why was Ruto calling on Citizen TV? Of course we know they had profiled Citizen TV that Citizen TV was giving more airtime to Raila more than William Ruto. So, if you look on how Ruto called Citizen TV, definitely the first thing that comes to the mind is that Ruto had decided that it is the right time to embarrass Citizen TV. Ruto was using this opportunity to mock Citizen TV. The president-elect was using that opportunity to criticize, not even positively, but negatively, to Citizen TV journalists. Then the question someone remained with is, is this the kind of leadership that we should be anticipate for after the swearing in. Because in the normal situation, what should happen is that William Ruto, since he has been declared as president-elect, the easiest thing or first thing he should do is to embrace even those who did not believe in his leadership so that he can win their trust before he started the journey of leading this country. And from that point, he will be playing a unitary position or figure in this country. But seemingly, he wants to have a continuation of division as far as people divide on the support of candidate they wish to have become their president. So does it mean that Ruto is going to be a president of specific people and not the other group in this country? Or what should we conclude from this incident? We have freedom of the media. We have democracy here. <laughs> of which everyone needs to enjoy. Is this the telltale signs of oppression that Citizen TV and the other stations that do not support William Samiruto should be anticipated from the leadership that Ruto will have in this country? Or what should we conclude from this incident? And anyone can easily conclude that William Samiruto has demonstrated that he is one man who never forget and he never forgive. Ruto never forget and Ruto never forgive. It is better even you forgive and eh, you don't forget. But he don't do these two things. He's good at them. And therefore, because he don't forgive, the only thing he could do it was to embarrass, demonize, season T. This is not new. It at one point even happened when they were forming the first government in 2013 and even part of 2017, but largely 2013. For those who remember, the mainstream media has been earning most of their revenue through the government advertisement. But when President Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto took over the leadership of this country, they decided to discipline the mainstream media properly by withdrawing all the contract for advertisement because they wanted media to blink in their favor. They wanted media to bend in their favor so that they will bring content or news that is going to be positive on their side. But because the media stood their ground, they were not ready for that. Then they faced hard situation by withdrawing the advertisement for mainstream media. Instead, this advertisement was done through the People's Daily newspaper and the KBC only. That is what media went through. But still, 
they immediately survived because they had other means of earning their revenue. That is how media suffered in the hands of Uhuru and William Samuel Ruto. Now William Ruto reacting like this to Citizen, to Citizen TV. Can we conclude and say that it was the deputy president, William Ruto, who is the current president-elect, the man behind withdrawal of the advertisement from all these mainstream medias and give it to People Daily and KT, KBC. Was he the man behind that? Anyone can easily conclude and say that he was, yes, indeed. Just to make sure that he is disciplining the mainstream media. You discipline them nicely so that they don't get revenue that they have been enjoying. So going forward with what he has just suggested, was it a sign as a warning to Citizen TV so that they should change and bring out content which will be painting his government in a positive way and not negative way. That was a warning Ruto has been giving direct to Citizen TV. So take it seriously <laughs> without a joke. This warning is even being extended to other mainstream media which maybe in one way or another did not play in favor of William Ruto when he was campaigning. Of course, we also have bloggers. How are the nyuma? So, Pia, how? Wako katika hali ya atari ama iko na mnagan. For those who do not support William Ruto. Because the criticism you are seeing here, it is not just ending from there. This thing is deeper and it is going beyond that. Whoever take it lightly, it is not that way. There is revenge loading. But we don't know how media will go through because as a country we have freedom of communication, freedom of even discussing what we want, including what we are doing here without anyone questioning me, as long as we are not infringing on other people's right. See you in our next video, but to Patanda Pilot Chini in the comment section for continuation of this conversation.